What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. Coach right here. And I'm topic nothing for today is about testosterone. So I'm gonna discuss the four types of testosterone na ginagamit sa medical field and ganun na din sa bodybuilding. So ginagamit siya sa medical field on cases na mababa yung testosterone levels due to aging, bumababa na yung sex drive. So they need to undergo hormone replacement therapy or HRT. And as bodybuilding naman, anabolics ginagamit yung testosterone as a base on their cycle. So, napaka-common yan. And if interested ka about this topic, just stay with me, guys. And let's go. It's not a game. It's a rich thing. So, first of all, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a registered nurse. In the Philippines, you can check PRC if you want. And I'm a certified personal trainer here in the UAE. So whatever knowledge na makuha nyo mula sa video na to, bahala na kayo doon, okay? And this video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. So guys, as we grow old, bumababa din yung testosterone levels natin. So ano ba nangyayari kapag bumaba yung testosterone levels natin mga lalaki? So, nandiyan na yung fatigue, feeling mo palaging pagod na pagod ka, pag mo palang galing sa pagtulog, pagod ka na agad. So, ganun yung feeling. And then, nandiyan na rin yung mood swing, uh, sa simpleng bagay, mabilis kang mabad trip. And then, nandiyan na rin yung low libido, and low sex drive, wala ka nang gano'n may pag-sex. And then, ano pa ba, nandiyan na rin yung muscle loss, feeling mo, no, wala na yung mga muscle mo sa katawan, nauubos ka na, nalalagas ka na. So, ganun yung feeling. Okay? So, coach, ano bang dapat gawin kapag sobrang baba na yung testosterone level ko? So, of course, syempre, you need to consult your doctor. And, syempre, um, kung reversible ba siya or pwede ba siyang um, maibalik or maitaas ulit yung testosterone levels mo, pwede naman. So, your doctor will prescribe testosterone. Okay? And then, sa um, bodybuilding naman, ginagamit yung testosterone. Uh, to gain more muscles, to gain more muscle mass, and usually, nagiging base siya ng cycle, anabolic cycle, okay? Kasi on each cycle, kailangan talaga may testosterone base ka, okay? So, coach, ano-ano ba yung mga types ng testosterone? Kasi sobrang dami na ginagamit sa medical field at ginagamit din sa bodybuilding, okay? So, ang pinaka-common dyan is yung testosterone enantate. So, itong testosterone enantate, it's an injectable type of testosterone that is administered through intramuscular or sa muscles. Okay? So, tinuturok siya sa muscles natin. And then, um, sabi ko nga, long-acting type of testosterone siya. So, ang half-life niya is four and a half days. So, you need to administer it only once a week on the medical field side. Like, for example, for hormone replacement therapy, um, ina-administer lang siya um, 5 to 7 days. Okay? So, for example, nag-inject ka ngayon. So, after 5 days or 7 days, saka pa lang ulit mag inject Okay? So, hindi siya yung katulad ng other testosterone na i-discuss ko mamaya na you need to inject more frequently. Okay? So, long-acting siya. So, you don't have to administer it. Um, like, hindi mo na kailangan tumur tumurok na tumurok like every day or every other day. Just every 5 days or every 7 days, depende sa doctor mo. And then, sa dosage naman, HRT dose, depende rin kung gano'ng kababa yung um, testosterone levels mo. Okay? So, usually, ang dosage is around 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams. So, depende nga sa weight mo and depende rin kung gano'ng kababa talaga yung testosterone levels mo. So, depende rin sa doctor mo. Okay? And then sa bodybuilding side naman, itong testosterone and intake is most commonly used kapag nagbabalking. Kasi uh, mas madali siyang stuck with like for example, DECA. It's also long acting. So, ipapartner mo siya with testosterone and intake which is also long acting. So, mas madali. And then ang dosage naman niya sa bodybuilding side for muscle mass is um, 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams usually. Depende rin sa weight mo kung gano'ng kalaki. Um, but it's the usual dose. And then you need to take it twice a week. Okay? Like for example, Monday and Friday. So, gano'n. Okay? So, hindi mo rin siya kailangan iturok frequently on the bodybuilding side. Okay? Just twice a week, that would be enough. Kasi long-acting naman siya. 
Next type of testosterone is testosterone cypionate or testosterone cypionate. Naman ko, bala na ito. So, ginagamit din siya sa medical field as HRT or TRT or testosterone replacement therapy. Dosage will be the same with enantate. Long acting din siya, but mas mahaba yung half-life niya. So, si enantate, four and a half days. Itong si cypionate, mas mahaba. Eight days. So, you only have to take it once a week. Um, if you are taking it as HRT or TRT, so depending na yun sa doktor mo, and then yung dosage na usually is 100 to 200 milligrams then on HRT, TRT side. And then on bodybuilding naman, ganun din. So around 250 milligrams to 600 milligrams. Twice a week mo lang din siya dapat i-take kasi nga long acting din siya. So doon sa iba na nalilito from test E and test Cyp, kung ano daw mas magandang gamitin. For me kasi, um, hiyangan yun eh. So I'm talking about uh, bodybuilding side. Like for me, I've tried both. So doon sa testosterone and antate, eh, medyo tagilid kasi laging, lagi ako may PIP or post-injection pain. Lagi akong nilalagnat. So I tried a uh, different type of testosterone which is cypionate. When I tried cypionate, I can function 100%. So wala akong PIP. And then, yung workouts ko, 100% nakapag-workout ako ng maayos. Unlike with testosterone and antate, lagi kasing may pain. So, uh, for example, nag-inject ako on my delts. And hindi ako makapag-workout ng maayos ng shoulder and chest. Any push workout, hirap ako. So, um, for me, hiyangan yan eh. So, for me, mas hiyang ako sa cypionate rather than test T. E. Then, yung iba naman, ayaw nila ang test type. Mas masakit daw sa kanila yung test type mas maganda sa aling test e, so it's a personal preference so depende na sa iyo yan okay okay so third type of testosterone is testosterone propionate or test prop test propionate t prop so this type of testosterone ester is fast acting kaso short lang yung half life niya okay roughly 2 to 3 days but the good thing is mabilis yung epekto niya so this testosterone ester can quickly peak in your blood plasma levels. Okay? So, pag-take mo, um, magpipig na agad siya. Ah, so, yun nga lang. 2 to 3 days lang. Wala na. So, ano ang iyari? So, you need to administer it more frequently. So, kaya ginagamit lang siya sa medical field on special cases. And then, sa bodybuilding naman, ginagamit siya on cutting phase. Like, for example, you're going for a contest prep. So, ginagamit siya kasi mas mababa yung water retention compared to test A and test cypionate. Okay? So, yun yung reason kung bakit ginagamit nila yung T-Pro on contest prep. So, sabi ko nga, sa special cases lang siya ginagamit and hindi talaga siya highly recommended for TRT or HRT kasi nga, same dosage, 100 milligrams, but you have to take it like every other day or every two days. And then, sa bodybuilding naman, same dosage, 100 mg. So, you take it today, tomorrow off, and then you take it again. So, ganon. So, ginagamit siya sa bodybuilding, like for example, um, on the first 8 weeks, naka-test E muna sila. Test E. And then, on halfway, or on the last 4 weeks, mag-switch sila sa test prop para bumaba yung water retention. And another problem with test prop or T prop is yung PIP or yung post injection pain. So, medyo masakit or mabigat tong time ng testosterone to pag kinarga mo. So, sa iba bumubukol sila sa shoulders or sa glutes. So, um, yun yung isang nagiging problema with T prop. And another reason kung bakit yung T prop, yung testosterone of choice ng mga bodybuilders pagdating sa cutting phase is mas madali siyang um, gamitin or mix with the other substance na for cutting also like trenbolone acetate which is also short acting and then masteron propionate which is also short acting so what ginagawa nila dyan is they are doing like cocktail on a syringe and then para isang load lang sila kasi pare-pareho naman yung short acting and fast acting so instead of they will mix test enantate which is long acting and then trenbolone acetate is short acting so parang um, hindi maganda yung mix so ganun yung nangyayari on the bodybuilding side, I explain ko lang, but I'm not recommending um, you guys to, to do the same stuff. Okay? 
last but not the least testosterone suspension this type of testosterone has no ester and is very known in the bodybuilding world as a potent mass agent pero mas ginagamit siya on cutting face bakit kasi nga um, fast acting siya and short acting nga lang din but yun nga sabi ko nga you need to take this one more frequently same as propionate pero mas may claim half life nito it's just hours so you need to take it like every day or every other day so sobrang hassle nun di ba so highly not recommended siya especially on the medical field kasi nga um, you need to take it very frequently so ginagamit lang talaga siya on special cases where you really need uh, quick um, testosterone shots and the dosage is uh, 25 milligrams to 50 milligrams on the medical field. And then sa bodybuilding world naman is uh, 50 milligrams every day or 100 milligrams every other day. And ginagamit siya for cutting kasi water-based siya. Ito lang yung testosterone na water-based. So pwede mo siyang i-stack with Winstrol which is also water-based. So pwede mo silang i-mix kasi hindi mo naman pwede i-mix yung oil-based and water-based na anabolics. Hindi talaga pwede yon, okay? If ever you will do it, magkakaproblema ka talaga. Okay, hindi lang sa injection site mo, nandiyan rin yung pain and everything. Because uh, testosterone suspension alone is very painful. Okay? Painful. Wow! Same with Winstrol. Winstrol is also very painful. Okay? Wow! Pinix mo pa yung dalawang yan, sobrang sakit na. So, naghahanap na talaga na sakit ng katawan. Okay? So, hindi ko talaga nare-recommend itong testosterone suspension sa bodybuilding world and sa medical field yung mga doctors hindi rin siya highly recommended okay so guys I think that's it four types of testosterone most commonly used in the medical field and in the bodybuilding world okay so testosterone enantate testosterone cypionate testosterone propionate testosterone noester or testosterone suspension okay so sana natulungan ko kayo and if you have some questions suggestions just comment down below, let me know, and if may maliman ako na banggit or may kailangan kayo i-clear, let me know, okay? Kasi tao lang din ako, okay? I'm just trying to give you informations na I think na mapapakinabangan nyo naman, pero bala na kayo doon. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys on the next vlog. God bless.